CBS The Bold and the Beautiful reveals that it seems like neither Brooke nor Katie like the idea of Bill and Poppy becoming a couple. They feel that Poppy is very mysterious and she's definitely hiding a lot of secrets. Katie and Brooke don't know how Poppy managed to seduce Bill, but in short, Bill is now so infatuated with Poppy that even if Katie or Brooke advise him, he won't listen. So the two will plan to separate Poppy and Bill. The only way to make Bill give up on Poppy is to help him recognize Poppy's true face. Katie and Brooke need evidence for Bill to trust their judgment, and they're able to dig deep into Poppy's past and discover something hor horrifying. This will be the key for Katie and Poppy to make Poppy disappear from Bill's life. Hope is gradually developing feelings for Finn after interacting with him for a long time. And of course, Hope still knows that Finn is now Steffi's husband, but she still can't control the feelings she has for him. With Hope's personality, she would probably want to pursue Finn and date him, not to mention whether Finn has feelings for Hope or not. Another problem that will come to Hope is the return of Thomas. It seems that in the mid-June, Thomas will officially return to LA. Thomas and Hope used to love each other, and Hope was very sorry when Thomas left. And now if she meets Thomas again, what will Hope's feelings be like? Will she still pursue Finn, or does she want to reconnect with Thomas? This seems to be quite a problem for Hope, and Thomas would be hurt if he knew that Hope had liked another man so quickly. Elsewhere, Deacon plans to buy a new house for him and Sheila, and they got married, and it was a new beginning for the two of them. And Deacon has a small apartment, but he feels it's old and not suitable for the two of them. Deacon wants to move to a new environment that is better for Sheila as well. And in short, Deacon wants the best for Sheila. However, Sheila thinks Deacon should consider the decision, because Sheila's not sure how long she will live in L.A. Sheila always felt like people in L.A. were unwelcoming to her. Even Sheila's son, Finn, never came to see her. Finn never came to see her, and Sheila is very lonely here. She only has Deacon by her side. Compared to staying in L.A., Sheila will want to live somewhere else with Deacon.